Hello YouTubers and welcome to a new video of Arepas for Dinner. So for the ones who don't know me, my name is Andrea and I live in the Czech Republic but I am originally from Venezuela and this December I came here to pass or to be with my parents. So I decided to record many many things for you guys as well you should go follow me on my Instagram because I keep publishing everything how Venezuela looks nowadays in this instant and through my eyes of course. Um, so you should go check that out. In today's video, I'm going to show you how do you do ajacas. Ajacas is pretty much the most traditional Venezuelan food for Christmas and December. And literally the name means ajaca. That means from there are from here. Aja is there. Aca is here. So it's a mix in between there and here. And it's supposed to be like that because it mixes a little bit of the Indian original Indian, when I say Indian, I mean like uh, native Venezuelan's food plus the Spanish food that the conquerors brought. That's why you have this like mix of hen and pork, but in a plantain leaf and you have the masa that is made out of cornmeal. And then you also have like capers and olives and almonds inside. So I think it's a very interesting dish. No, it doesn't taste like a tamal. No, it doesn't look, I mean, they have leaves outside. That's the only thing that is the same, but it's not the same. So I wanted to stay during the entire video and I want you to let me know what you think about it and if you have ever tried an ajaka. So that's it, let's start with the video. Outside here, showing you the hen. We have one here and we have second one here. This is to make the stock that is gonna be used to make the dough of the ajakas. As well, the hen is gonna go inside the ajakas because the ajakas are made, at least in my house, of hen and pork. So this is the first step. We're defrosting that since last night, they're not fully defrosted. And once they're fully defrosted, we are just gonna cut them down, take everything from inside out and boil them. Okay, now we're adding, I'm gonna put here the name in English, is cebollin, ajo porro. We also put celery and onions. And we're gonna make a very nice stock with all of this. And later on, yeah. we're also gonna add a bell pepper and cilantro and as well you can this is uh, the bell pepper we're gonna add and there's also a thing called ají dulce but it's from venezuela so if you're somewhere else you might not be able to find that but you can avoid it if you cannot find it so the stock is ready it's in this gigantic pot over here and over here we have all the hen that now we have to like clean and prepare for making the inside of the ayaca now i'm gonna take these with my mom and we're gonna take it to a place called El Atillo, where they make the dough for you. And usually we say that the dough we want it a little bit sweet and a little bit spicy. And when I say a little bit, it's literally a little bit. We don't need that spicy here in Venezuela, just for you to know. And we're gonna buy the leaves where you put the ayaca. The leaves are made out of plantain leaves. They're very, very interesting and they leave a very good flavor to the meal. So now we are on the way to take the hen stock to the place where they do the dough for the ajacas. We're so excited. I'm gonna try to record some over there. We're gonna leave it here and they're gonna make it for us, the dough. Here they sell the ajacas per se, they sell the leaves and they sell the dough. What can you find inside of the ajaca? What do you need for the guiso? Mm. El guiso lleva pernil de cochino, tocino, gallina hervida, aceite onotado, cubitos, cebolla, ajo porro, cebollín, ajo, alcaparra, aceitunas, pasas, pimentón rojo, tomate, clavo, ají dulce, ají picante, vino, papelón, pan rallado, pimentón español, dulce y picante, sal, orégano, pimienta negra, comino, salsa inglesa, pasas y ya. Y los adornos son alcaparras, pepinillos, aceitunas, pasas, almendras, cebolla, pimentón rojo, tocino, cebollitas en conserva. Y pepinillitos. Los pepinillos los dije de cebolla. So here we have some pork 
cubes they're made out of the leg of the pork actually and we're just gonna cube them even smaller for putting them in the guiso of the ayaca as well here are all the veggies and all the ingredients that we need for the veggie part of the guiso i'm gonna show you that once we take them out and start working with them Cutting here the leek. Mom is cutting the bell peppers that they have to be red. And Majorly over there just washed a bunch of things that we have to keep cutting. And she's gonna cut the onion. Serviendo el agua. The butter is the water is boiling, and we're gonna add the pork to boil it there to start with the guiso. That's the first ingredient we're adding in. So I would say it's about like eight cups of of pork mm, and that's to make 40 ayacas plus pollos. We're actually boiling it only for five minutes. That's how the recipe calls for it. And then you just take it out because later on you're gonna add it in el guiso and that's how you're gonna cook it all together. Here we have chives. How many cups of chives do we need? Probably two cups of chives. So I'm gonna be chopping this up. I just finished with the leek. So now my mom is cutting four ají dulces. Ají dulce is literally like a tiny bell pepper from Venezuela. Is uh, dulce means sweet, means not spicy. But if you cannot find, it's okay. But we like it with it, of course. And here we are. Here we're chopping five tomatoes as well to add to the guiso. For the liquid part of the guiso, we are gonna liquefy some capers hen stock, the one that we did yesterday, and the garlics that we have here, Venezuelan garlic, that I already explained it on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, go follow me. Um, that they're way smaller than your average European garlic, but they're way stronger. So be careful if you ever use them. First of all, we're adding the onion. That was what, four cups of onion? See. Four cups of onion, and then we're gonna add and then we're gonna add the leek and the cebollin as well to fry it up a little bit before adding anything else. And here we have the hen that we're chopping into smaller cubes uh, that's gonna go in the guiso as well. Chicken stock, three quarters cup of garlic and uh, some capers. How much capers? Half a cup. Mm. That's going in. My mom says mm. that it's super like typical from Escanone. No? That is the recipe we actually follow mm -hmm. to add that caper mix to the guiso. And she really likes it. And we haven't seen it much people doing it if they're not following Escanone recipe that we are following. The tomato, the bell peppers, and the ají, and we're cooking it all together here. Papelón. Papelón is kind of something before, sugar before it becomes sugar, let's say it that way. Um, maybe if you cannot find papelón, you might be able to find brown sugar, but the American version of brown sugar. If you cannot find, probably at the end you can put any sugar, but this actually gives a very special flavor, very similar to the American brown sugar. We're adding one full yard of Worcestershire for seasoning. If you know anything about Venezuelan cuisine, we use a lot of Worcestershire. My mom just throws a splash of red wine. She says she's gonna add more. I cannot tell you exactly how much she added because it was a lot. It was a little, I don't, I don't even know. It was like the leftover. And now that's paprika. That's a sweet paprika that we're gonna be adding, what, how many spoons? One and a half. One and a half spoons. Now we're gonna also add two teaspoons of spicy paprika. Just two teaspoons, remember, the ayaca is not really spicy. You can add Tabasco later or whatever when you eat it, but it's not really that spicy, it's not spicy. Mom was not waiting for me, but she added one full spoon of black pepper. 
And now we're gonna add cumin. Super important. How much? Uh, I couldn't see because you didn't wait for me. Uh huh. A like one and a half spoon, more or less. We're gonna add the papelon that I told you you can make it with um, sh brown sugar if you want. Otherwise, you can add sugar. It's just not gonna add that little bitterness of the papelon. Now we're gonna be adding five spoons of salt. But we're gonna add less. We're gonna add three and then we're gonna taste and see how it tastes after we add all the meat and everything. And if needed, we're gonna add more. Be adding all the pork that we previously boiled only for four seconds. It's just how they say you have to do it. Maybe you don't have to do it and you can just add it raw, but we, we don't do it that way. This is something from my family. This is Alibrandi Garcia's Ayacas. Uh, my grandmother, that was not Garcia or Alibrandi, decided to put this, so it was Lozano actually. Doesn't matter. So this is going there. These are just raisins and olives that we're gonna add to El Guiso because yes, that's how Venezuelan Christmas tastes like, kind of like raisins with olives. We just added the hen and now we're gonna mix it all and probably we're gonna add now the wine and the, we just added as well the capers, the capers, no, the, we just added as well the raisins and the olives. Olives, thank you. And uh, we're gonna add a little bit more wine. I don't know if you added it already on the hen. And for how long are we gonna cook this? 15 minutes. For 15 minutes only. And now we're gonna add a little bit of wine to my cuando. Yeah. It looks a little bit thick, so we might add a little bit of hen stock to make it more liquidish. Okay. So this is just like, again, like something that my family makes, does, because my grandma used to, it's just to thicken everything and to let it be very creamy. You actually add some breadcrumbs to it. And we're gonna add one, two, four, tablespoons we do that at the okay so you you keep adding until it has the consistency you want so we just added four and we're gonna mix it that's gonna actually make it like super creamy and the liquid is just gonna emulsify with the rest of the ingredients it's just like a technique venezuela usually you add uh the same flour that you use for the masa but in this house we use bread because my grandmother used to do it that way because my mom used to be allergic to corn when she was little. So that was the only way she could eat at least the guiso of the hajacas. Um, mm -hmm. So we kept doing it that way in honor to my grandma. So you can do it with normal corn flour if you want or you can try our version. So we just finished it, it's perfect, the flavor is exquisite. We thought maybe it needed a little bit more of salt, but remember that we're gonna add capers and we're gonna add olives as well as the decorations. So you don't want it super salty because those things have salt. Um, and that said, uh, we're now gonna go pick up the dough and I'm gonna show you of course again. And we're not gonna assemble today, we're gonna assemble tomorrow and I'll show you that too. So these guys, we're bringing the dough for making the ayacas and my mom wants to try it just to make sure that it's as she likes it and we'll see. And here are the leaves for making the ayacas. So we picked it up, now we're going back home. So here we have the decorations of the ayaca. We have some onoto oil, that is pretty much an oil that has been infused with onoto that makes the color. Uh, then we have red bell pepper, onions, olives. We use olives with bones, it doesn't really matter. Um, this is tocino, it's literally like a piece of fat that you put that you're not gonna eat. It's the only part that you're not gonna eat. Here you have baby um, onions, some almonds, capers, baby pickles, and raisins. And that's what we are gonna put inside the ayaca, of course. 
as well here we have the guiso that we made yesterday now it's cold and we this is the base it's the most important part and all the rest is kind of like decorations so here we're making the little balls of dough um to know exactly how big they are the best way of doing it is you make the ball and then you weight it so they're all more or less the same size so we're looking for 100 grams more or less per bowl so we can have around 10 ayagas per kilo of masa ¿Sabes qué me acuerdo yo? De hacer los dibujos de Navidad Y dibujar el niño Jesús Y la Virgen María, no sé qué Y dibujar una yaca de un lado Me acuerdo perfecto Ahorita que mi papá la amarró así Me acuerdo así, que las hacía y todo así Como, como, como que la cuerda la, la, la presionaba ¿Sabes? we finish making the ayacas you boil them for how long 40 for 40 minutes and then you have to cool them down i'm gonna show you how you cool them down so we're just gonna put them in this rack to cool them down and there in case they're gonna drip a little bit uh they shouldn't but you know just in case they do a little bit to be honest and we leave them there i think for another 40 minutes or until they're like eatable and then we're gonna try our first ajaka. So now we're gonna try the first one. Um, can I cut it in the half so I can show it? So I'm gonna cut it. You're not supposed to cut it like this, but I wanna show you guys. They allowed me. There you go. Oh, I'm so rico. I'm gonna see how it's Gosh, it's amazing. And it's well super important the day you make the ayagas, you also eat some pan de jamón just to enjoy. There are my parents eating as well. And my mom just entered. <laughs> We're still working in the ayacas. Actually, we're now starting with the bollos. Bollos, you literally make it with the leftovers of the ayacas. You just make everything, cut it all, put it all together. And now use corn flour and a little bit of cachapa flour if you have, that would be great to make the bollos. Here we're cutting. And now we're gonna have our lunch with ayaca and delicious pan de jamón. So this is, the, so this is the second guiso we're making. Now we're making the bollos with everything that was remaining. We're gonna add some pan flour and a whiskey for my father. And we're gonna add some yellow pan flour Mommy's gonna add it, and we have there some hand stock as well. La temperatura está buena para usted. Así que puedo meter la mano. 
<laughs> we usually eat the bollitos more for like breakfast. They're more like simple yeah, can... food than the ayacas. The ayacas are a meal yeah, sí, by yeah. itself. I look terrible in this camera, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so we finish, we're finishing uh, making the dough and what we're gonna do now is we are gonna let it rest so it can get more emulsified and we can do the bollitos. I have a pimple here. So, those are the bollitos. You see, they're very different from the ayacas because you don't put anything inside of them. You just literally put them directly in the leaf, you wrap them and then you just put them together with this. They already have everything inside, exactly. You don't have to put any gizzo inside. So after all, we made 65 ajacas and how many bollos? 36. And 36 bollos, so it was quite successful. We thought we were gonna make a little bit less, but it's fine. You're gonna be eating this entire December, even though it's already like 20 of December, <laughs> but that's all right. So that was it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, stay super, super tuned because I'm gonna keep publishing things about Venezuelan life here on the channel, at least until we go back to Czech Republic. I'll be doing a vlog once my husband gets here. He's gonna come in a couple of days. So once my husband is here, I'm gonna do a vlog of a normal day in my life in Venezuela, so you can check that out. And if you have any suggestions of things you wanna see, let me know down in the comments. Of course, I'm gonna do a beach vlog as well, and I'm gonna do other fun things but remember to follow me on instagram because i'm publishing there all the time and i know you guys are going to enjoy it so much so that's it thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye